Welcome back via to our online EEE series. So in this lesson today, we are going to be talking about reference direction of voltage and current. So this is one of the most very important course we need to uh, talk about before we move to complex uh, topics like uh, uh, the main uh, uh, circuit theorems, uh, circuit analysis, mesh, mesh analysis, and so on and so forth. So as you know, as one of the purpose of uh, purposes of an uh, EE online series is to guide us through step by steps so we can get down to the main thing with a uh, with a very good understanding of the whole thing if, uh, as it works so that by the time we get to the subsequent lessons we will not be confused with direction of uh, um, and uh, polarities of voltage and current so that is why we are taking this topic now and we are not going to leave any stone unturned so uh, let's get uh, down to it. So, what do we mean by the, by self reference? We are taking reference. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Reference direction of current force. This is reference we are having E here. So, reference direction of a current. So, what do we mean by that? So, when performing uh, circuit analysis and calculations in many uh, situations, so uh, we notice that the actual current and uh, sometimes uh, is always different from the uh, the actual current direction is always different from the assumed current direction so as we have here this is what we know as assumed current direction so it is common to every circuit or if it is not given the circuit it is advised for you to uh, uh, apply them yourself assume it is called assumed current circuit that doesn't mean it is the original uh, direction or the actual uh, direction of the current so it's just an assumed direction of the current so we have it on this side, we have it on this side. So when we have something like this, it is always uh, important because uh, it might be very difficult, it may be very difficult for us to understand the, the actual current direction in a particular circuit. So that is why it is advisable to what? To make use of the assumed direction. So in this assumed direction, and after the whole calculation is done, these are the two uh, possible uh, what they call outcome we normally get. So look at let's look at this deduction. If our current I eventually turn out to be what uh, to be greater than zero, the actual current direction is consistent with the reference current direction. So this is our current I here. If it's happen to be greater than zero, as we have positive two ampere here, so it means the what the actual current direction is consistent with the current direction. Because if you look at the actual current direction, uh, or the, uh, if you look, this is the actual current direction and this is the assumed current direction or the reference current direction so this one we are referring to so if you look at it it is they are both on the same side which is why they are both they are, they are both said to be what consistent so on, on the other hand if our current i uh, is less than zero the actual current direction is opposite to the reference current direction so this is what we have this is the reference current direction and after we have done our calculation of this circuit we calculate and find the circuit we found out that what our current direction is um, uh, our the value of our current is two um, is minus two ampere, so it will not follow the direction of this with what we have here. So the direction will go to this side, so which is going to be what minus two ampere. So in opposite to the reference current direction we have here. So what we actually have here is ten volts. Let's see, we have ten volts here. Sorry, I didn't put it earlier. Ten voltage. So if we apply our Ohm's law, our Ohm's law in this case says that what our V equal to I have according to what we have done in our previous classes. So and we are looking for the current, our current which is I will be equivalent to uh, um, what do you call it? V over R, which is um which is what's, what's our V? Our V is ten to over R and our R is what? And our R is uh, five. So, which is giving us a 2 ampere. But how do we as I assign it to be um, in positive 2? If you look at the direction of this current, it's going this way. So, it means it was it is positive. So, it is uh, positive. So, if you look at the other, uh, the other uh, side, you still apply the same uh, uh, Ohm's law. I is equal to V over R. We are going to have our what? Our voltage, you can see the current here now. So this is the negative side. So 
which is going to give us what uh negative uh, what they call it negative 10 volt so that is where it is coming out from negative 10 volts according to the direction we're giving here over what the value of our resistor which is 5 so by the time we divide it we're going to have what negative 2 ampere so negative 2 ampere so that is which is uh, against what we have here which is uh which it is negative it is less than zero it is against what we have here so which this one is telling us that what is going to a, a right direction which is supposed to be a positive direction so since it is this it is in form of negatives definitely we are going to what we are going to return the direction so this will be the our the our actual direction so that is where we got the uh this deduction the actual current direction is opposite to the reference current direction so as the direction is what is is uh, is against the assumed one though this is just assumed it is assumed i've told you it is very normal or advisable to apply it in uh, in a circle as being given it doesn't matter where it fits but the final result or the actual current we calculated from the socket and yes is the one that we determine the direction or the real direction of the current so and this is uh, an expression whereby we can use to determine so in a circuit it, they can be used to they can use this to represent it see that they place the arrow on it or they have another thing uh, uh, we have uh, we can use a uh, a b to denote the junction so you can see the arrow is separated from the uh, from the uh, from the conductor line so so that it's not like this so it can either be like this or it can be like this so if it is like this we are going to use this double uh, subscription and to represent the the particular junction or the particular line so and away from that now to uh, another one we know as a uh, uh, reference polarity of voltage so it's uh, they are both similar to each other to that of a um, current direction reference current direction so this is known as what reference polarity direction so this is the pole we have here you can use this to demarcate it you see that it is in this form in a in the circuit or it's in this form in a circuit so uh, what does this mean and so the voltage reference polarity is also uh it's, it's also an assumption of uh, an arbitrary chosen polarity if the uh, resultant calculation for the voltage which is what we have here is greater than zero the vote the actual voltage um polarity is consistent with the reference uh, uh, voltage polarity and if it is less than zero the actual voltage is also said to be opposite to the reference uh, voltage uh, polarity so this that is uh, concerning the polarity so this is the uh, assumed this arrow we gave here this is the assumed uh, polarity assumed polarity so now that is an assumption that this is the direction of the arrow so if it happens that the what the voltage the actual voltage we calculated out of this uh, unit happen to be positive definitely it follows but if it happens to be negative and it's against the sign we have already assigned to the one to our uh, what they call it to our uh, to the to the unit so definitely it is what it is going to be it, it is going to be opposite so that is in this case we say it is what it is it is not consistent not consistent just like the way we have in the current not consistent so not, not consistent and on the other hand this one is what consistent consistent so i think that is worth taking so these are the three ways whereby we can see them in a circuit you see that you see them in this first one we see here or the second one we have three cases we have three case a b and uh, and c so case a b and c so in the uh three cases uh, uh case a expressed with an arrow this is the arrow represents an arrow so this is the, arrow. the direction of the arrow points from uh positive to the negative that is what it means why case b expressed with what uh, are expressed with polarities so we have the positive and the negative so the negative indicates higher potential where we have higher potential position and the negative and that is the positive and the negative indicates the lower potential uh, position so the last but not least is what and uh, the, the kc kc express what with a double this is a double subscription which is a and b so for for instance this va a and b indicates uh, that the potential position 
A is higher than the potential position B. The potential position at A is higher than B. So we have positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So but this one is talking about the potential uh, position. So as we are going to uh, be making example in our subsequent lesson, we know the application of all this. So the last part we are going to be looking at, looking at now is mutually related reference polarity of current and uh, and of course voltage. So, so in which case do we see they are mutually related? So in which case do we see they are mutually related? So if the uh, reference direction of a current, so this is the reference direction of a current as we have been, we have explained. If the reference direction of a current is assigned by flow. Uh, by flow from the positive side to the negative side of voltage across the component. So what we see is that the reference arrow pointing uh, from the positive side here to the negative side here. So it's, uh, it coincides or uh, it, it consisted with uh, that of a voltage. So in this case we see they are what? They are mutually, uh, uh, mutually related. So on the other hand here, this, you can see this direction is supposed to be towards the higher potential to the lower potential but it's going to the opposite direction so if you look at this uh, this so generally the absorption of this uh, uh, mutually related reference polarity or current uh, uh, direction is and uh, that if the reference i uh, direction with the reference current direction is assigned by an arrow pointing from positive to negative so in, which is in this case or voltage as well across a component then the reference i direction current direction and reference uh, voltage polarity is consistent so look at them they are they, this is what is if it is pointing if the reference direction is pointing from what from positive to negative in both case in both case this this means they are what they are said to be consistent and they are known as mutually related reference polarity of voltage and uh, current so why case B is non uh, is non mutually related reference polarity of voltage and a, and a current. So so this is where we are going to stop on reference direction of voltage and a current. So to enjoy more of our lessons and to continue uh, with us as we proceed in this uh, online series, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel to enjoy more videos. You can also share and uh, and like our videos. Thanks. To you, goodbye.